Brexit could lead to a significant electoral rebellion against the French president as fishermen in the country pile the pressure on their leader. The prospect of a no-deal Brexit looks as likely as ever as Prime Minister Boris Johnson's attempts to override the withdrawal agreement angers Brussels. The Internal Market Bill passed its first hurdle in the Commons last week as MPs voted in favour by 340 votes to 263. It addresses the Northern Ireland Protocol, an element of the withdrawal agreement designed to prevent a hard border returning to the island of Ireland. The bill seeks to give powers to UK ministers so they can modify or disapply rules relating to the movement of goods. Northern Ireland Secretary Brandon Lewis admitted this could break international law. The move has infuriated the EU, who have also held out on their own demands as trade talks stall. Brussels has demanded access to UK fishing waters, threatening to deny London access to European markets if the request ISNT met. The outcome regarding fisheries will have a huge impact not just on the UK, but potentially French President Emmanuel Macron. He was once warned by his farm minister, Didier Guillaume, that it would be very, very grave if French boats were banned from British waters, and that if this were to happen, there would be reprisals. The next French presidential election is in 2022, and the last vote in 2017 proved how costly it could be for Mr. Macron if fishermen are cut off from UK waters. Before the 2017 election, fishermen south of the Channel expressed their discontent with their current leadership. Laurent Merlin, a fisherman from northern France, told Politico he was voting for Mr. Macron's opponent Marine Le Pen. He said, I'm not voting for Le Pen out of conviction. I am just fed up with all the lies and false promises. We need results to save our profession from sinking and Brussels has too much power over our fishing. During the regional elections in Nord-Pas-de-Calais in 2015, the socialists had to withdraw from the second round or face a Le Pen victory. Only five years earlier, a left-wing candidate won the same region with nearly 52% of the vote. In the 2017 election, Mr. Macron secured victory, but Ms. Le Pen performed best in the rural areas in the north, northeast and southeast. 